I'll shut the blinds. I'll let him watch. I do my best work on the big stage. Passing through the superior of Vina Cava. You're in the atrium. Pull back. You've hit the wall of the heart. And these procedures would be so much simpler if you could get them on healthy people. And out again. Need the cardiac arrest. Oh, we call it. Come on, paddles. Come on. Charge. Clear. Code blue, ISO room. Code blue, ISO room. And again. Nothing. How much longer are you going to keep doing this? Clear. Wait, I've got something. He's back. What are you doing? What we came here to do. It almost killed him. I know. I was right here. Give me a vacuum tanner. His brain's been oxygen deprived for over eight minutes. There might be nothing left. He might tell the parents. Where the hell is that vacuum tanner? So, what's he got? Brain damage. Good chance. I was talking about before that. You're not worried about things I can't do anything about. I try not to. <laughs> yeah, things just roll off you like water off a duck. Histiocytosis. Very unlikely in a 73-year-old. Whatever this is, it's very unlikely. Come on, more ideas. Let's go, people. Genetic disorders could cause masses everywhere. Tuberous sclerosis. If it's genetic, he's had it all his life. Why now? I don't know. It sure fits nice enough. We haven't ruled out leukemia yet. Or sarcoma, he could have multiple soft tissue tumors. Or sarcoidosis. Multiple neurofibromatosis. Chondrocytomas. How's it going? When? I got called away by the angry parents of a patient. There are three of you here. None of you have the sense to stop him, to pick up a phone and call I told them you'd signed off. The parents are mad because their kid is dying. It's understandable. But if he doesn't die, they won't be mad anymore. Well, if he's brain damaged, they might still be a little ticked. I had to do it to save him. You had to do it to diagnose Esther. You may have killed a six-year-old because you're obsessed with a woman who's been dead for 12 years. Sometimes you lose, House. You're not God. He's not dead yet. No, but you're done with him. It's my case now. Go home. Go ride your motorcycle. Go brood in a dark room. Just don't go near Ian again. So, anything else? Or is it just these seven? Drop it, House. She's right. No, she's not. You know she's not. We should have called her. I'm surprised you didn't. You're gonna have to find a way to let this go. We can't go near Ian. We don't need to go near him. We have his tumor. Well, Cuddy may be right that we screwed up the protocol. She may be right about my screwed up obsession. But I'm right about the medicine. How many tests can we do with that? Look, we cure the kid, we solve everybody's problems. How many? Maybe two good pieces. How many okay pieces? Three'd be pushing it. Three tests, seven choices. Okay, what's first? Uh, sarcoidosis seems most likely. Yeah, so likely that Cubby's gonna think of that all on her own. She's got the kid's whole body to play with. Let her do that test. What's next? It's moving too fast to be spreading. It has to be grown from something that's already there. Genetic disorder, tuberous sclerosis. Or it's his immune system, histiocytosis. Well, there are more documented cases of histio amongst older people and tuberous sclerosis. Let's start with that. 